Welcome back to John's pressing the wrong buttons. No, I didn't. I'm. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. X. Yeah, the, so the guy from Silent Hill. So well, yeah, when I was a kid, up until I was at least 12 years old, because we didn't have the internet, so the only way to know if a game was coming out was if it was in a magazine. Well, we couldn't afford magazines when I was a kid, so the only way I knew of a game that didn't exist yet is I guessed, you know, hey, Mega Man 3 is out. Like we got Mega Man 3 and Mega Man 4 at the same time for you know the same the same year, and I'm pretty sure Mega Man 3 had already been out. Uh, for a couple years. Well, Probably. I think they, no, no, no. They were coming out every year. They were they were annual installments, basically. But you know what I mean? Like, a game could have been out for years, and I'm like, well, it's new to me as a kid. And then you never know when the you know, like, oh, Mega Man Five came out, but we didn't know, you know, it was on the horizon. We just yeah. it just showed up in a store one day. We're like, oh, Mega Man know, Five got made. You didn't know what release dates were. Yeah. Like... Yeah, we didn't know they were hotly anticipated. That we didn't know there was a way to even find this information for the most part. So, yeah, we were just at the mercy of the game company. So when, th when this came out, I remember it was like, just, we saw it on a, I want to say we saw it on a Blockbuster, or whatever rental store we were using at the time. Probably Blockbuster, or Hollywood Video, those were the only two. Yeah, here in town. Well, there were a few mom and pops left, but Blockbuster had, Hollywood Video actually really is the one that did the, did the mom and pops in here in town, because when Blockbuster showed up, their deals were just so bad, like their, you know, their, their charges and... And late fees yeah. and how how many you could rent and like based off of your credit. Yeah, we're gonna go the normal way. I'm almost full on on everything, and getting through there is really tough. But did we get beat? Yes, we got beat. Oh yeah, here, let me show you beat. Anyway, yeah, uh, Hollywood Video is really what did the mom and pops here in Las Vegas because they were competitive. Hmm. Man, and, be strong. Because you know you could rent movies for five days and you could have like three or four movies out and uh they no weren't insanely expensive whereas like hollywood or blockbuster was like insanely expensive uh they ran a credit check on you and were very brutal on you if you did not have very good credit so you could only rent like one movie for two days at a time kind of deal like r really the video store these things cost you how much money and uh, at the time rental rentals cost more than the home version right, right. they actually had an had a superior version of the tape like, it was physically better and more robust, so it would stand up to more viewings. And they just got charged more because, like, licensing was part of the cost. So, it's it's not as if they were paying the same $15 you were. But still, to replace that physical tape was not so expensive that they had to, had to yeah. treat you that way. Um, so, Blockbuster man, was, tapes? I so mean, the joke of the house was Blockbuster Video. Wow, what a rip-off. I mean that's what we sang every time those <laughs> stupid commercials came on. Because we I could go, we could drive half a mile down the road to our mom and pop video time, and they had pretty much they had the movies. Same. They didn't have everything, and when new movies came out, you could never get them. But then if we wanted to go to another one, Hollywood Video was closer than the nearest blockbuster, and you know you didn't have yeah. to return the movie two days later. Or else. Yeah. Or else. Or else, indeed. All right, hang on. I'm gonna beat this guy the way to? I used to, because he's got a weakness. Like fire beats him, but this uh, is how I always beat him as a kid. Why would you use pow? Uh, cause it's more fun. The uh, the char the charger outlet man. Yeah. Cause it. Well, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna die because they're gonna drop poop all all over me like birds. But what then then I'm gonna show you how fun this boss can be. Okay. Oh, do you like knock them into each other or something? Well, you just bounce them off of your pow. Like, it reverses their direction if you hit them with this. That's why it's fun. No matter what direction you hit them in, or just, like, only if you hit them the opposite well, direction? Well, you can't go as fast as them, so you're only going to be able to... Oh, yeah, that's right. I would always just stand here, and then I could line it up real easy. See this? Like, I just stand over here, and I'm like... Pachoo! And then the other one comes around, and I'm like... Pachoo! I had to jump first, and I took some damage, but, you know, I got full life. It's easy. This game yeah. is just full... Mega Man 6 is one of my favorites, because it's just... It's kind of a light, easy game, other than Plant Man. Because but it's not honestly, X3. when I used to play this game casually as a kid, I would always do Plant, Plant Man last, and I just, I just get stocked up on energy tanks and one ups and just enough to like yeah. bullshit through that. Yeah, level. and then I would just go back and do all the alternate routes that you need before later. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted you guys, you know, you guys deserve a quick Mega Man game after that last one, right? 
Yeah, yeah that see, last one that was like how many months we're ago? We're blazing now? through this game, Amaris. It was like six. It's too bad you have an ago. important meeting to go to in five minutes, or we'd be able to finish the whole game on one sesh. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, we could have done it with like a ten episode sesh. I Just don't know. Would have been a lot. Could you long. really do sesh? Ten? Yeah, you know sesh. We say sesh right here, right? No, we don't. You're stealing that from other people that are way cooler than us. <laughs> I don't. I don't think other people invented the idea of a session or a shortening sesh. words to sound like an asshole for comedic effect. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure both of those things are very played That's, out humor. That is that is copyright 2016 to Game of the Grumps. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't make that up when they did it. I'm pretty sure they did, John. That's exactly how copyright works. And if you don't know, you should ask our friend and local attorney, Le Leonard J. Friend. <laughs> he is not fire. a local attorney. <laughs> He's like 2,000 miles away. <laughs> Our, our friendly neighborhood... Your favorite copyright attorney. Our friendly neighborhood... Not my favorite copyright attorney. Yours. Yours, not mine. He's dead to me. I don't know what he did. I'll figure it out later. Uh, didn't you say that he, like, had a strange disagreeing with you on, like... He's got some stuff? political views that I certainly disagree with, but nah, I don't hate him for it. He hangs out with some people whose political views are really gross, but I'm like, well... I hang out with people whose political views I find really gross sometimes, so I can't really fault them on that one. And if you don't hang out with people with gross political views, those people tend to get grosser political views over time. Generally, Because they yeah. get to be isolated with their... Here. Can I just... Oh, you can't just break them. I never do that. You know what I'm saying. You isolate someone and then they feel, like, justified. They're like, ah, see, these people are just afraid now, of the truth. Now they're stuck there with their thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If you're not there to counter the bullshit, then the bullshit just gets to fester. It just swirls. That's and part swirls. of why I'm really against cancel culture in general, and I hate to use the use the phrase cancel culture to say thing I'm against because that's hey, now hey, overplayed. John, yeah. John, are you trying to cancel cancel culture? Um, you know, it it has its uses. It's has its has. Its, I mean, some people get canceled and they're gone, and it's good, right? Remember Milo Yiannopoulos? He's just what? gone. Wait, who was that? He that was the. Familiar. He was the. Uh, you know how the right has people that are just there to be assholes. Well, he was the gay guy that was there to, you know, for for people that hated gay people. You know what I'm saying, right? I, oh, I think so. Like, you know how like Blair White is the trans girl for people to hate trans girls, and you know, like like he's there to say like gay people are bad. Yes, you should hate us. You know, he's one of those grifters, mm. and he got canceled because he said basically like. Oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with pedophiles. I used to bait pedophiles. Yeah, I would I would charge them money and prostitute myself to them. And like, nothing's wrong with pedophilia. Those those little boys are just taking advantage of those older men. Like he said crazy shit like that, and the right finally canceled him. Mm, so, wow. <laughs> but yeah, he's gone now, and uh, and that's my point is, eventually, everyone gets canceled. Well, like sometimes canceling works, and it's a good thing. It's just usually not. This is how I beat this guy. You're supposed to use the tomahawk, and I probably will, but. I didn't have any life, and so I didn't want to, you know. You're dead to me, John. I didn't want to use up the... Well, this is one of those games where the weapon ammo is really important to conserve. Because something like the last four bosses are weak to Tomahawk. And this guy is. Is this another freaking, like, Bubble Man situation? Uh, kinda. It's like inverse Bubble Man, because instead of falling, it just goes up way too fast. Well, no, I meant, I meant, like, up. in that it's it's secretly the strongest thing, like, ever. See, here's the problem with Tomahawk, is you have to, like, get up close and dodge around him, and he dodges. And I, I don't like this. It's it's no Gyro Man's weapon, you know? Absolutely not. Yeah. You're throwing pizzas at him, not, not um, Tomahawk. Jeez, Amerith, why are you, like, dancing so much? You're, like, shifting the couch around. Because I'm trying to focus. Fuck, I'll just use an energy tank. Oh my god, we're gonna have to use one of our nine energy tanks. Better not use All right, it. Alright, I'm just Might gonna need go it back later. to the Yeah! It's a consumable in a video game. You can't use it when you just because you need it. You have to save it till the very end of the game when, when you have four times as many as you could ever possibly use on the end boss. Because you've been saying the entire thing this whole time. That same thing. Yep. So I'm gonna do this guy this way. Because I care more about conserving my ammo than I care about, you know. Uh, are you enjoying these explosion sounds, Amerith? Are oh, they just, just the best? They're so amazing. Are, are you leaving a flag to make sure it's not too loud and you don't have to lower the game volume just for this I... one fight? <laughs> oh, 
god, this guy takes yeah? a kill. Well, and again, yeah. Again, you saw how much I was missing him with the silver tomahawk? Yeah. You get him lucky, and I would have killed him like five shots. Well, maybe you should have used the golden tomahawk. <laughs> right? Uh, I'm gonna be safe. Let's let's burn through these energy tanks, okay? Better safe than dead. Yeah, let's let's drag out this episode but past the ten minute mark, so we, we have a good place to pause between, you know, things. now and later, so you can uh, in, you can go to your important business meeting where you can rig the tournament in my favor. Absolutely not. Or against my favor, so you don't have so you can stop being my mentor right away so and can... focus on the tournament. Yeah, I know. I know John just started, but let's seat him in with the higher brackets. It'll be great. Oh, did they do that? Oh, you're saying that's what you're gonna do tonight? <laughs> All right, get on that. Next time on the branch, I expect a very difficult opponent on next week. We'll see. Before this goes up. Then we'll see. Next time on the branch. Next time on the branch. <laughs>